Quentin's life changed the day Margot Roth Spiegelman moved next door, he considered her his one true love. They were both close in age, they became close friends and did everything together, until one day they discovered a dead body. Apparently, the man couldn't cope with his impending divorce. Quentin didn't flinch, but Margot took it badly. She showed up one day at his window, saying she discovered that the dead man's wife worked at SeaWorld and wanted to go out with him to SeaWorld to solve the mystery. Quinton refused to go as it was 11 p.m., and they were kids, so she rode her bike there without him. Quinton comments that Margot loved mysteries so much she became one. Her life was a series of epic adventures. We cut to them as teenagers. Margot was one of the popular kids at school who did whatever she wanted, Quinton is not, and they aren't really friends after that night in their childhood. She went as a groupie for three months with a band among other things. One night, Margot crawls through Quinton's window and asks to borrow his car. Her parents keep their car keys in a safe under their bed every night, with a dog nearby who hates Margot. Since Quinton doesn't have a car, they use his mom's. They head to Costco and buy lots of saran wrap, a raw catfish for cooking, petroleum jelly, spray paint, a steering wheel lock and nair. Margot plans to exact revenge on all who have wronged her. Her boyfriend Jace is cheating with one of her best friends Becca, so they first head to her house. Waiting outside, Margot sees Jace's car and places the lock on his steering wheel as she knows he never locks the car. She then calls Becca's house and informs her dad that Becca is having sex in his basement. Her dad storms downstairs to discover the two of them in her room. Margot hands Quinton the camera before Jace runs out, and instructs Quinton to take a picture of Jace running naked across the lawn. Jace sees him but continues running. Quinton is scared, as Jace is on the football team and can beat him up, so Margot points out Jace's microscopic peanut and says Jace won't beat him up if he threatens to release the photo. They both then run into Becca's room, while Becca is elsewhere, quarreling with her dad. Margot throws a fish in her closet and sprays an M on the wall. The next house they head to is Lacey's, Margot's best friend. Margot is upset because Lacey knew Jace and Becca were cheating but said nothing. Margot saran wraps her car and sprays an M on it. The next house they head to is a guy who told all the girls in sixth grade not to dance with Quentin, this one is for him. She tells him to spray Nair on one of his eyebrows while she locks the door and puts petroleum jelly on the handle. As Quinton wipes off the Nair and his eyebrow, the guy wakes up. They run out of his house, pulling the door behind them and he is unable to open it as the jelly on the door makes it hard to unlock. The next place they head to is a business building. Quinton is hesitant to enter as he doesn't want to be caught trespassing, he has his whole life ahead of him, Duke, med school, kids at 30 and he looks forward to being happy. She is confused that he'll wait till he's 30 to be happy. She also lets him know that the guard's name is Gus. They walk in and Gus lets them in saying, Mi casa is su casa. He and Margot appear to know each other well. They go to a conference room overlooking the city. She points at all the buildings and calls it a paper town with paper people, complaining that no one seems to care about the right things. Quinton is quite smitten with her, and they dance to some music before heading back home. After parking the car, Quinton asks Margot if tomorrow things will change between then. She appears to think they will, but the next day she is absent from school. After a few days of no Margot, an officer, Margot's parents and his parents all greet him in the dining room asking when was the last time he saw Margot. He tells them Wednesday night, but leaves out specifics, just saying that she climbed through his window to say hi. Margot's parents decline to file a report because she has run away five times before, and is now 18, free to do whatever she wants. Quinton also comments that every time she leaves, she leaves clues for her loved ones to come find her. Quinton is deeply in love with Margot and longs to solve the mystery. His two friends, Ben and Radar, help him mourn. One day, he notices her shades are down, showing a band on the blinds, which is weird, as all these years her blinds have never been down. 
The three guys go to Margot's house, her parents aren't home and bribe her sister with $20 to let them look around. Her room is filled with records. He searches the records for the band on her blinds. He finds the record he is looking for and sees and writing circled Walt Whitman's niece. Then he sees the Walt Whitman book on her desk and takes it home. He spends the next few days reading the book and comes across a line circled unscrew the door themselves from their jams. He proceeds to Margot's house and again bribes the sister with $20 and uses a screwdriver to unhinge her doors to find nothing. Later that night, still reading Walt Whitman's book, he notices a small piece of paper in his door hinge with an address written on it. He calls Radar to join him, but Radar tells him no, they can go the next day as he has plans with Angela, his girlfriend. The next day, all three guys head to a shady part of town, going to the address, to find an abandoned building. Quinton hopes Margot is inside. They enter to see a hole in the wall leading to an abandoned store, no Margot. The next day in school, Jace approaches Quinton with his friends and tries to beat him up, but he shows him the picture and threatens to release it, and Jace and his friends leave him alone. Lacey approaches Quinton and friends to find out what happened to Margot, as he was with her on her last night in town. He tells Lacey they're trying to find out, but also lets her know Margot is angry that she didn't let her know about Jace and Becca's affair. Lacey claims she had no idea, but that her boyfriend knew, she really seems concerned for Margot and broke up with her boyfriend when she found out. She also lets him know that now she is without a prom date and Ben immediately begins flirting with her, she says she'll be at Jace's party later. The boys seem excited and decide to attend a popular party, now that they have dirt on Jace. Quinton is obsessed with Margot's disappearance and decides not to attend. He goes back to the abandoned room and sees Margot has written on the wall, we live in paper towns. Confused, he falls asleep and sees Margot approaching him in a red dress begging him to come find her. Quinton is awoken when Radar calls at the party and lets him know that Ben is drunk and that they need help to get him home. He arrives, hoping to search Jace's room for clues, but Becca and Jace are banging upstairs. He then heads to the bathroom, and mid-pee is interrupted by Lacey, who is hiding in the tub. He joins her platonically in the tub, and they discuss life. He lets her know that he and his friends are searching for Margot. Lacey says everyone thinks she's just a pretty face, but she is actually going to Dartmouth in the fall. When Jace interrupts, Quinton knows he can now go search his room. He finds an atlas like one in the abandoned store with a page missing. After one friend pukes in the house, they head to the abandoned building. They look through the other atlases and are startled to find that Lacey has followed them, she wants to know what happened to Margot. He finds the missing page and holds it against the light, to see that Margot has made holes in the map, pointing to where she is headed. He hangs up the map and discovers she is headed to New York and the one friend says that there are so many towns there that they'll never find her. Quinton then instructs him to look for a paper town, these are made up towns on maps that people place to see if anyone infringes their copyright by copying their map without permission. They find one aglo, New York. Emmys, Margot's initials edits the Wikipedia page and gives it a population of one. The four agree to leave immediately in order to make it back to prom, but Radar wants to stop to tell his girlfriend Angela goodbye, and she joins them. The five head on a road trip to New York, and one friend, who needs to pee half hour in, is given bottles to pee in and spills it in the car. So they make a six minute stop to buy food, drinks, new clothes, and plan out their stops in order to make it home in time for prom. At night, Quinton nearly hits a cow, but Ben spins the wheel and averts it, so they skid and decide to stop for the night. Angela has adult time with her boyfriend. Ben and Lacey agree to go to prom together. They arrive in Aglo, New York the next day and find the barn, but it's empty. The rest give up and decide to head back for prom, but Quinton doesn't want to go and is angry they don't want to find her. Lacey loves Margot but says Margot would never do the same for her, Ben and Radar just did it to have one last memory and a fun road trip before they graduate. He gives them the keys and tells them he'll find another way home. 
Quentin hitchhikes to town and buys a bus ticket home, but sees Margot walk by. He runs after her and calls her name. She is surprised to see him there, she left clues for him to find to let him know she is okay, not to join her. He says he loves her, and she is surprised, saying everyone likes the idea of her, but no one really likes her. She buys him a drink and explains she wasn't made for town life, and this is the perfect place to lose, and then find herself, in solitude. She planned to disappear after graduation, but Jace, and Becca's cheating sped up the process. She relents, offering to let him join her, but he decides against it. He wants to go to Duke. They hug, and he tells her that her sister misses her. She says they talk every day on the phone. Quentin heads back in time to join all of his friends at prom, and the five of them dance and enjoy themselves. The film ends with him saying that someone says they saw Margot doing a play on Broadway, another claiming to see her giving surf lessons in Malibu. She's just an enigma wrapped in bacon. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.